Now, uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to jump your Tesla if your uh, 12 volt battery fails. If the 12 volt battery fails because it's not being charged from the main pack, um, say there's something wrong with the fuse or if the 12 volt battery is just bad in general, you will not be able to start or get into the car and um, that can be a real problem. Um, so make sure that you always have uh, jumper cables just like you would with a normal car or a battery pack. And uh, the main problem is you can see here, I'm hitting my key fob and nothing's responding from the car because the 12 volt battery is completely dead. Um, so there's actually uh, a little trick to getting into the vehicle when, again, you can't unlock your frunk to get at the battery, the 12 volt battery, which is up here. And uh, I'm gonna try to get it in the video. If not, I might take another one later uh, to show you how. But the first thing that you have to do is to come down to the bumper, and I don't know how well we can see it here um, without a flashlight, but there's two little red straps that are in, so here's a license plate. You're gonna to go to the right side and there's two little straps, one marked A and one marked B. And what you're gonna do, it's gonna be kind of tough to see here, you're gonna yank on the first strap and that just unlatched the first part. And then there's a second strap. We're gonna grab that, give that one a yank, and boom, we just got into the frunk. Um, so heads up, two things to keep in mind. The first off, that if you keep anything super valuable in the frunk, it's more vulnerable than if it's in the back because there is that little tip and trick that can get you into the frunk if all else fails because, because otherwise there literally is no way to lift your hood. So now that we're inside here, let's take a look at how to access the battery. Again, all you do is just lift this plastic piece here. Now this is on the Model X. The Model S and Model 3 are very similar. Now once inside, you're gonna see, this is your fuse box right here. And um, let's pull that off. Just pop in the tabs. Pop those in. And you can see we've got our positive 12 volt battery terminal right here, along with um, your fuse box. Don't mind my cat, he has to get into everything. Um, and on the left hand side here, um, you're going to have your negative terminal, which let's see if we can find it. See, if, I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but it's right here on the passenger side. Um, <laughs> so we've got the positive on that side and then the negative over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect that to our car charger. Um, and we're gonna do a slow charge and see if that doesn't fix the problem. Now, again, this is uh, really a critical thing to keep in mind because if you can't get in your vehicle and it's very cold outside, you could be trapped, you could have a real problem, and the only way to get in is to get your vehicle jumped by another vehicle or to have a battery pack. Now, you don't have to worry about disconnecting anything to jump the vehicle. It's not gonna affect your main battery, it's just going to affect the 12 volt that's uh, below the fuse box here. Um, so that's how we do that. I'm going to connect the battery and then I'll come back and do a little more for the video.